Text, Oroville Spillways Update. April 2, 2019. 10.50 a.m. A large concrete structure with four levels and rows of pillars. The base leads to a concrete chute. People in fluorescent jackets stand on the levels and appear very small. At the lowest level, water begins to flow through the center of the pillars. The brown water flows and spreads as we move backwards through the chute, creating a thin layer of water on the floor of the chute. Surrounding the main spillway is construction equipment and industrial roads. The water continues flowing in a thin layer along the bottom of the chute. Traveling backwards along the spillway as the water continues to flow, going over a hill and moving faster, with some small waves cascading down. The waves cascade with more speed and force and reach the mouth of the spillway, which has four large concrete blocks in a row to break the water into five streams. The water bursts out of the chute, flowing down rocks and into a body of green water. Overhead view of the water flowing in the spillway at a swift pace. Aerial view of the mouth of the spillway, with water flowing through the bottom. The second level of the concrete structure is a road and a truck drives across. Overhead view of the concrete structure. On the side behind is a large body of blue-green water. This water flows out of the mouth of the gates and into the spillway. A truck drives across the road. Water shoots out around the pillars in five streams. High aerial view of the canal, water rushing down it in waves. It hits the mouth at the end and streams down the rocks into the body of water below. A white waterfall has formed at the bottom of the spillway. In the diversion pool it flows into, the soil is churned below creating a light brown area.
aerial view of the body of water that flows into the concrete structure and the canal. Beside it, a wide square area of concrete. Moving down the spillway in the chute, looking over the bend where the water flows down a huge incline and out to the diversion pool.